This is a game I made almost entirely using AI tools, and it only took a few hours to make. Today I will take you through each step of the process, showing just how much AI tools can do for game development right now, along with a look at what they still cannot handle, and there is more of that than you might think. And finally, I will share where I think AI game development is headed, and how it could redefine game creation in ways that might surprise you. If you're new to the channel, welcome! My name is Rafał Bremski and I've been making games professionally for over 8 years. Throughout those years, I've seen some game creation tools and techniques come and go. For instance, when I started making games, no one was really using motion matching to animate characters. But now, especially with the advances in Unreal Engine 5, it is slowly becoming the standard for some of the third-person perspective games. And AI? It is changing things even faster. Just a few years ago, our AI options were mostly simple chatbots. Now, AI can generate 2D art, voiceovers, music, 3D models, and even simulate entire games with no engine needed. Though sometimes the result looks more like a fever dream than a game. Just take the Minecraft Oasis simulation, where AI tries its best but ends up hallucinating blocks, mobs, and landscapes into a somehow consistent mess. It's like Minecraft if Minecraft had been designed by a sleep-deprived elderly person with dementia. I was gonna put him in, uh, foot, foot. So today I'm putting it to the test, using AI tools to create a mini Souls-like game. For context, I'm currently working on a larger Souls-like project, so I know what goes into making a game like this. I wanted to see how much of that I could recreate using only AI tools. No team, no budget, just free or easy to use assets. I would also be keeping creative control, using AI to streamline my vision, but not to make the design decisions. After all, all the fun that comes from creating a video game is coming up with cool ideas, and I want to keep it to myself. I also want this game to be playable, so whenever AI tools cannot be used, I will be sticking to free and easy to use solutions. First up, the player character. I have questionable drawing skills, to put it mildly, but there are plenty of AI tools to help with that. For my character's concept art, I chose Mid Journey. I gave it prompts based on my idea. A dark fantasy warrior with a face hidden inside of a hood. Fast and agile, wearing light clothing. In my concept, this character is a person from a medieval village forced to visit the land of the dead, where his appearance changes and he gains new skills. The process with Mid Journey actually felt a bit like working with an artist, except it was almost instant. I could experiment with different ideas and styles, and adjust everything that didn't quite match my vision. With the character standing in an A-pose, it was ready for the next stage, creating a 3D model. And that was the big test, turning that concept into a 3D model. Traditionally, 3D assets are one of the most expensive parts of game development, so the idea that AI could handle this is game-changing. I decided to go with Meshi AI, a tool that converts text or images into 3D models. Just a year ago, the results were, let's call them, early prototypes. <laughs> Here are a few models Meshi generated for me just 10 months ago. But fast forward to today, and this is what Meshi can generate. I created a few test characters to see what it can do. Here is an example of an undead knight, and a more abstract horror character with a bell for its hat. And the results were 
honestly quite impressive. Coming back to the main character, I decided to go with image to 3D generation. I used the concept art created in Midjourney and Meshi surprised me once again. Even though it still lacks a few details on the actual mesh and some of the details are faked within the texture of the character, I think it's still very impressive. Given the fact that it only took a few minutes to go from an idea in my head to an actual 3D model. Next, I decided to create an enemy that would feel connected to the main character's backstory. My idea was a creature that, like the main character, was once a human but had lost all of its humanity when moving to Land of the Dead. I wanted it to be a big, horrifying, muscular albino monster with antlers, something I personally aspire to during my workout sessions. For this, I wanted to test a bit different approach. Instead of generating the concept art first, I used the text to 3D model prompt right away. Meshi gave me a few options. A few looked like an overgrown infant whose mother made just a few too many mistakes during pregnancy. I picked one that felt mythical and a little unsettling. And again, even though it didn't have that refined details a human artist might add, it worked well enough for a gameplay prototype. Now it was time for animations. I started with Deep Motion AI, which has text to animation AI tool. Unfortunately, the results were, let's call them questionable. Deep Motion felt like an early alpha version, even with how the website itself works. It even somehow managed to completely forgot that my account exists mid-session and gaslighted me that it doesn't recognize my email. I suffer from short-term memory loss. Yeah, that's exactly what you say. It clearly didn't want my company and animations it did eventually create would need a lot of cleanup, which kind of defeats the point. Then I tried CMS AI. But again, the results were just not usable. AI animation might get there eventually, but for now, it's not up to scratch for anything beyond a meme potential. So I went back to a trusty source, Mixamo. It doesn't use AI, but offers reliable pre-made animations and quick rigging for my AI-generated models. For the main character, I wanted a smooth, realistic movement, so since I already know there is no reliable AI solutions for animations just yet, I used Unreal Engine's motion matching sample project. I imported my AI-generated model and retargeted motion capture animations for it, creating a seamless movement system for the character. With just a few clicks, the character was moving fluidly in the game, reacting in real time and it was a huge time saver. If you're interested in how motion matching animations work, I have a full devlog dedicated just to this topic, so feel free to check it out. Next came the gameplay logic for combat. For me it was still a faster solution to just do it myself, as I already have been working in Unreal Engine for quite some time, but ChatGPT came in handy for bug fixing and optimizing some of the blueprints. For someone new to Unreal Engine, I could see AI being a massive help by providing step-by-step -step guidance, especially when we consider toolkits like Ludus AI, which is fully integrated into Unreal and provides AI guidance. If that sounds interesting, let me know in the comments and I can make a separate video on using AI to fully generate logic for a game. But again, for this project, I went with the fastest solution and created the gameplay logic for player combat and enemy behavior myself. The environment was another test for AI's current capabilities. While full environments are still challenging for AI, I used a hybrid approach. I started with an Aztec temple from the Unreal Marketplace as the base and used Meshi to generate some extra props, like this broken pillar that player has to jump through or a few Aztec themed sculptures to add details. 
While these props weren't as high quality as I would like and they visibly stood out from the rest of the environment, they were good enough for a quick level layout. As a simple test, I created a small cartoonish game environment to test it and the results I got show a bigger potential for a more stylized game. I might touch on creating cartoon styled game using AI in a different video. To add more atmosphere, I used 11 labs to generate sound effects and a few voice lines using AI. It generated sounds for swords attacks, grunts for the enemy when they are being hit by the player, and even a few lines for the main character reacting to seeing the enemy for the first time. Huh. wonder what this guy did before dying to get this ugly in the afterlife. For visual effects, AI is still not there, so I added some VFX from a previous project to round things up. Here's what I ended up with. Huh, wonder what this guy did before dying to get this ugly in the afterlife. A functional Souls-like prototype, mostly made with AI and free-to-use tools in just a few hours. It's definitely playable, but would I release it? Well, quite obviously I would not. The assets aren't polished enough and there is still a lot of personality missing that only human artists can add. But will we ever be able to fully rely on AI tools to create assets and logic for a game? I think we are closer than ever, but there is a catch. While I believe AI can speed up development, it is unlikely to replace the artistic creativity of a human artist. Based on what I was able to make, I think AI is perfect for fast prototyping. I could sketch out my gameplay, test the scale of my characters, experiment with combat and get the core experience even before hiring an artist to create my assets. This approach could save time and money for indie developers or small studios. But there is a trade-off. By cutting human input early in the design phase, you miss out on the ideas and discussions that often make games feel unique. AI tools are exciting, but I think they should be seen as creative partners, rather than full replacements for artists. Used carefully, they will change game development, especially within the technical implementation aspect. But for assets creation, we will always need a human touch, especially for the most important assets like the 3D model of the main character or the creative vision for the environment. Even though AI assets provide a huge potential for small studios and individual creators, I really doubt we will see it being used in any AAA titles in upcoming years. I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you think AI will ever be able to make a complete high-quality game assets on its own, simply based on human prompts? Or will it rather stay as a tool to prototype things early in the game's production? Let me know in the comments. And if there is another aspect of game development you are curious to see AI tackle, drop your ideas below. I am personally tempted to see how far I can go with creating a game using only AI generated things. If you enjoyed this AI experiment, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more deep dives into game development. See you in the next one. Bye.